Hello guys, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing my um, Battle Mage build. Uh, let's give it a spin real quick, and then after that we'll take a look at what makes this build work. Um, it's a pretty simple build too. Yeah. Clear, we'll go back up. <laughs> we'll try, uh, we'll do one more room. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I forgot this room. I gotta jump on there. Let's go ahead and do that. And clear this room. Oh, actually, the room isn't clear yet. There's still some guys up here. Oh, yeah, 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 that's one of my abilities there. I'll go around again. Oh, wow, it still left effects on the screen there. Still some guys up here. Let's do this guy. Man, that fall took a chunk out of my health there. Oh well, it's all good. It's one of the things with the game though, you know, you gotta watch where you're going or where you're blinking to. Fall to my just fall off. <laughs> Still up here. I will do one more room. I'm trying to keep the video short compared to my previous build videos. There we go. Do, 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 do. As you can see, the build uses a blink to compensate for the heavy armor to move around. You gotta be careful where you're going. Fire kills him. And that guy is dead. And the room is cleared. And so that's the um that's the battle mage build. It's a little bit different from my previous builds. Um, and so actually I'll just stop right here and show you guys how the build works. Like I said, it's a pretty simple build too. And it's not um, 
it's pretty forgiving in regards to the gear itself also and uh, while build, uh, creating this build um, RNG has been very unfavorable to me in regards to the rolls on gear that I'm crafting um, but it still works though like I said the build is pretty forgiving in regards to gear so I'll go through it real quick and so uh, with my battle mage build my uh, weapon of choice is a two-hander you can use a great arcs I'm using a, uh, a two-handed sword and the one I chose to use is the Sager, and I explained the reason why as to why I chose that. The reason as to why I chose the Sager is because it rolls with a specific rune called Evasive Combo. And I show what that rune does. So what that rune does is that it allows you to attack while also evading backwards. And so you can literally get into an enemy's face. Um, do two hits, jump backwards, and I can return, I can change to something else. So I'll show you. I can hit like this, jump out, and then throw that. That's the reason as to why I chose this specific two-hander, because of that um, rune. Now let's go back into here. Okay, and so evasive combo is why I chose it. Now, the, the rune that allows you to throw your two-hander is called fire throw, which is what I have on slot it on my Y button there. Now, um, the, other, um, the other rune I have in here is Blink. So to make this, um, the two components that makes this build work in terms of its attack potential or damage potential is Fire Throw and Blink. Fire Throw allows you to be able to hit stuff from range and it hits really hard. Blink allows you to be able to get in and out of um, combat whenever you want, well, in and out of um, an enemy's range. Now, um, like I said, I have a preference for this sword because of evasive combo, because I can blink in, uh, throw evasive combo. Um, it's gonna, the third hit evasive combo flips you backwards, and then I can th um, throw fire throw, which does on that, um, hit on the enemy itself. Um, most enemies you won't need that. It's usually bosses that you need stuff like that where you can get in, get out with, uh, get in with evasive combo, get out with blink, throw, um, get in with evasive combo, throw fire throw. If you're in, um, if you're in too deep, use blink to get out. And so, now um, the um, fourth enchantment, electric enchantment, is just to add another elemental type damage to my um, weapons. Now. Um, if you look at the gems I have slotted here, you notice that my I have um, the blue gem that does six that gives you a percentage extra cold damage, and so I do I deal frost damage, I do fire damage with um, fire throw, and if I um, enable my electric enhancement, I can also do lightning damage. So you can you can literally have a single attack that does all three um, that does three different elemental attacks at once. That's lightning, cold. Oh, in this case frost and also fire at the same time now the other gems I have slotted on the sword is the one that allows me to be regen health uh, whenever I kill an enemy uh, that's where I gain 7% health on kill and then I also have um, a rune that gives me 3% focus on damage dealt and also 3% um, stamina on damage dealt and that is just to help with uh, focus regen um, I do know that um, with Hotfix 3, they nerfed uh, Focus Regen from um, Gems. Even though the primary focus, passive Focus Regen attribute, they haven't fixed that yet. That is still not working. And so let's take a look at the gear real quick. Because we're already getting to the 9 minute Mac and I do apologize for that. And so on the helmet here, I for Gems, I have for my gem. Um, choice I have healing effects and you notice that I have healing effects on as much gear as I can get because I'm trying to Get healing down on this build so even though the build can tank in terms of taking hits You also need to have a mechanic in regards to gaining health back and so healing effects just Amplifies anything that allows you to gain health back and so I slotted that gem here here even though I also have a, a passive role on the armor that also has healing effects by 25%. Now armor raised by 15%, you'll want to have high armor for this build so you can take or tank physical hits uh, without taking too much damage to your health pool. 
Now, um, items durability increased by 15% is a wasted stat. I could always get something better to roll in that in that slot there. And then you also want to have things that is going to help with poise and stagger. Now, because you're um, playing as a melee, in your face melee um, character, or in this case, this build, you want to you want to protect against or have things in place that will keep you from um, being staggered or being pushed over. That is where poise comes in. Now you see that in other pieces of gear I have. I can see the poise on this gear is six. Now in terms of my chest piece, I have um, equip load increased by 12% is wasted stat also because if you're done in plate armor you're going to be in the heavy category anyways unless you dump a ridiculous amount of points into um into equip load which you don't want to do you just want to put just enough now um my focus gain here to help with focus and i can also see the gem i have there is to increase my focus pull by 20 percent um healing effects is 26 percent I can see poise also, poise defense increased by 14%. Now in terms of my gloves, the only gem that I think is good for um, to slot in gloves is to just roll armor. And that's what I did here, at least for this build. Now you can see my healing effects also 30%, health regeneration um, to also have passive health regen um, to help with topping me off in terms of my health. And um, now the third item here, increase focus by 58 for 20 seconds after prior that is also a wasted roll. Um, you can um, you can get anything better to roll in, into that slot there. And you can also see also how points defense increased by 19%. Now um, for my pants, um, I have gained three focus on focus use. This is what they nerfed um, before prior to Hot, hot fix three it was a percentage amount and that percentage amount scaled off of the amount of focus you had or amount of focus resource you have um, it was too good so they nerfed it now it's so when you slot a gem it only rolls a flat amount on focus and focus use which is a bummer though but that is what we are working with now now you can also see this pants here also have healing effects by 21 percent um, plague resistance increased by 17. Um, I could do better when it comes to that. Um, in terms of um, something I was rolling there. And I also have stamina regen by 15%. That is also a wasted stat for this build. Because we're not really using stamina at all. Um, for Because most of our attacks is primarily using focus. You can still use stamina for your swings and stuff if you choose to. Uh, but we're definitely not using stamina for our rolls because since we're heavy, our rolls are not going to be effective at all. We're just, we'll just be flopping everywhere. And that's why we're using Blink, which uses our focus meter to evade attacks. Basically to reposition yourself when you're engaging an enemy. Now, in regards to my um, ring choices, um, there are various ring choices you can use. I chose Fierce Ring. And the reason why is because I'm getting armor bonuses from it i'm also getting damage percentage bonuses from it now there's a ring that you can use in place of fierce ring that gives you a bonus to your rune damage but that's all it's going to give you a bonus for um that's why i chose to use fierce ring on all three slots because i'm getting armor increase i'm also which armor increase which is important for this build i'm also getting a damage delta increase um to help with damage now, in regards to how I have my attributes um, distributed, um, I have a, uh, a few points in health just to have a little buffer. And that's why my health is at 101. Um, I have a little bit on, on stamina. For instances when I, I, I blink in and I install me using the ranged attack, I want to go ahead and hit uh, melee directly. That's where the stamina comes in. Now, um, since I'm using this specific two-hander that scales off of strength, that is the reason as to why I have most of my points in strength. There are other two-handers out there that scale off of intelligence. If you if you choose to use that for this build, instead of putting points in strength, you want to put points in intelligence because it's going to scale with that weapon itself. Now, I also have points in focus so that I have a comfortable focus pull for my attacks 
and also for evading attacks with blink but also for range attacks with my um fire throw now my equip load is 24 and when it comes to equip load itself it's just to make sure i'm not over encumbered um just put enough worn you know over encumbered um you're still going to be in heavy anyways because you're using plate armor i remember one of the reasons why we're using plate armor is so that we have enough armor to both to negate or help with taking physical hits now um apart from that you notice my hit points 101 stamina point 66 stamina regen 34 focus points 312 and focus gain on 29. Now, if you want to increase your focus, um, the amount of focus you have, there's another ring out there that you can use that gives you 100 units of focus. And that will increase your focus pull. It also gives you a bonus towards focus gain also. And so that's also a good option that you want to use there. Now, uh, against my, uh, my armor, under my defense um, column there, armor is at 984, my poise is at 44. And my resistance is heat, cold, and plague is over 100. Um, like I said earlier, um, you want to start looking at instances where you get a, uh, a good amount of elemental resistances. There's some enemies in high-end content that deal elemental damage um, as opposed to physical damage, and some do a combination of both, um, especially bosses do that too. Uh, with elemental resistance, is going to help uh, negate to a certain extent the amount of elemental damage you're taking whenever you take a hit. And um, that's it, really. That's the um, the entire build in a nutshell. And so, um, tell me what you guys think about this build in the comments. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, if there anything, um, if you have any suggestions on how to improve this build, also let me know. Um, I take suggestions all the time. I welcome them, actually. Now, um, with this build done, um, the next build I'll be putting out is going to be what I call the Blood Knight build. And it's what I call the laser man's build because it allows you to be able to plow through content with next to no effort at all. Uh, you won't even really have to attack if you don't want to. Okay, the enemy will just do the work for you by killing himself. And you see what I mean by that. I won't say any more than that though. I'll be I should be dropping that sometime tomorrow. But um, that's it, guys. And with that, I'll be out. Happy gaming, everyone. Peace.